Hi, welcome to the 3D real time hair mastery series for games. My name is Ankit. I am a senior 3D grooming artist for games. Currently, I am working with Airshape Interactive and during my professional journey, I have developed a specialization in creating real time 3D hair. Now, throughout this hair creation journey, I will help you to understand all the fundamentals, types, techniques and my theoretical mindset that I use to produce most challenging part of a character creation, that is hair. Before we begin, I have few things to explain so that you can understand and experience this learning journey much better. As this course is for all level artists and we are going to use lots of software but I promise you all the process is explained and well documented. And throughout this course, we have an assignment also. In every stage of chapter, you will get an assignment to complete. It will help you to understand concept much better. But whenever you are stuck or have any doubts or wanting to ask something, feel free to leave a comment in a comment box. I will help you out. So guys, I want to take you on the trip of in-depth chapter that will change the way you think and create a realistic hair assets for games. After this course, you can confidently create a real-time alpha-based hair professionally for game productions. So now, let's discuss the roadmap of this 3D hair mastery course. This course is spread over several chapters. Uh, it starts with our main concept and uh, the importance of collecting reference, managing them and organize in a proper manner. We can break them into small small steps and read individually. After this, we will learn all about hair theory and hair anatomy, how our hair grows from our scalp, the concept of hair and their types. Then we will learn how you can read your concept and hair references. We will paint over our hair textures and major outlines. It will help you in a hair texture creation journey. After this, we will go through a basics of softwares like Maya, Zebras and Axon. In Exin, we will look into a deep into modifier, expressions, masking, tube hair workflow and so many things. After this, we will cover hair sculpt parts of our hairstyle where we cover all the importance of hair volumes, how to create clumps and how to create a good silhouette of your hairstyle. Then we will create our hair textures with the two different methods like first method is using Maya Exin directly where we create our hair shaders and render all the maps. And second method is using X normal. In X normal method we use our hair strands as a high poly and we use plane as a low poly. So this is high to low poly method then we use X normal to render all our maps. After that we will discuss all the hair guard placement techniques. We will work on specific forms of hairstyles, proportions, breakages, fly-offs and transition to create a realistic hairline. After that, I will share you how you can upgrade your portfolio and share your artwork to a different platforms. There are lots of things in this 3D hair creation journey. So to enroll in this course, you have to submit a Google form where you have to give me a, your contact number and email ID. I will send you the content of this course. I will teach you in one to one live session using Google Meet or Team. Just fill a Google form, enroll now. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the important tips, tricks and techniques that will help you to create a real time hair creation. The first and primary aspect to create a real time hair is block out. You have to create a stunning and realistic block out. You have to take care of their flow, their scalp, their direction, their flyaways. So I will share you the further. But from now, you have to subscribe this channel first. So now, the first step is you have to create a first layer of your head. So to create a first layer of your hairstyle, you have to mask your head and extract the mesh from the head. Because it's easy to extract from the head in the exact shape of your head. So to extract a mesh from your head, just masking them. Create a mask, press an alt button and draw this black mask you can see on the screen this is black marks so i'm going to draw it uh, in the shape of hairline and our hairstyle as you can see this is my black hairline and i'm going to create or extract a cap like structure for my hairstyle here it is so my scalp is covered now i'm going to extract it 
so to extract it just go to the sub tool and down below over here this is extract there is an option here extract just uh, uh, put a value of thickness 0 0.01 or whatever you like and press extract now this is a preview window you, this is not a final subset but this is a preview when you finalize this thickness of the your scalp your cap uh, when you happy with the scalp and cap just then you can press accept so when you press accept now you can see we have our separate hair cap sculpt so this is our base layer here you can see we can start our uh, sculpting process from this cap now you can see we can create our clumps we can create anything over these caps so this is very easy to extract now i'm going to share with you some important brushes that will help you to create a uh, uh, volume clumps direction and all the things that you are going to create in your real time here so for that the important brushes are first is clay tube brush second is dam standard brush third is uh, you can use trim dynamic this is also useful brush it is help to polish a specific surface of your clump and the third is pinch brush is also important throughout this block out journey you will learn lots of brushes and uh, i suggest you i recommend you please go through each and every brushes or on a z brush and explore it uh, get used to to all the brushes and uh, so when you look at this screen and use this clay tube you can find that this kind of zigzag irregularity over this uh, surface so to fix that just go to the stroke menu and uh, over here uh, just a little bit down in our modifiers we have roll disc option here so with the help of these roll discs it will increase the distance between of two strokes and it will give a smooth surface as in clay tube brush so when you increase this roll so it will help to create a specific clumps on here so this is very useful tricks you can see now we have very smooth clumps so we can create a very stylized and uh, smooth clumps now when you notice on the background of this hair cap you find that there are some uh, distortion on back some destruction uh, are going on to solve this problem you have to apply back mask the back masking uh, the menu uh, i have selected over here you can see on the right backs black masking but uh, uh, you will find this option you will find this menu over here go to the brush this masking modifier and on this masking modifier you will get a back mask it will mask your other side of your scalp uh, click on this back mask now I'm going to sculpt on the scalp. Now you will find there is no effects on backside. You can see there is so plain and neat. So this will help. When you done with the base layer of your sculpt, just uh, take a reference images uh, on the background or you can use a pure of transparency. Just transfer in the pure of file and uh, press T, press control T to enable uh, this transparency and you can work on ZBrush while the uh, pure of window is still on the top so uh, try to match the silhouette of your hairstyle so i'm just freezing down my assets and try to match the silhouette so this will help you to create a rough block out further you can add a details add a small small scope add a still a small adjustment along the way so this is just a process uh, from now uh, i will share you with the uh, time lapse but if you want to learn you have to enroll into the course I will teach you one on one uh, it's like a personalized class after this class uh, you can create a real time hair creation for productions for game production so this will help so enjoy the time lapse mm -hmm.